guys, happy Sunday. So, uh, speaking of sun, a viewer uh, sent this to me and I'm very grateful that they did. I had never heard of it. This is a uh, sunscreen that uh, I believe you can get in Germany. Uh, it is not in the American market. Uh, so I looked on Amazon UK and they have one sunscreen by this brand, a few sunscreens by this brand. They have like a spray. It's Sundance. Um, it's SPF uh, 50 and it uh, is uh, fragrance free and does not have any, any alcohol in it. So those of you who are sensitive to alcohol, I really love this. Thank you so much. I've only worn it a few times. The individual also sent me a lip balm that has SPF in it and more of a um, uh, body sunscreen. So I'll have to give those a try. But yeah, this is awesome. It's also vegan as well. So what a wonderful product, Sundance. I'd never, I'd never heard of this brand before, but I've worn it several times. And this is a chemical sunscreen and the filters um, are phenomenal filters for broad spectrum coverage, very high protection, um, very stable filters. Uh, so I'm fortunate that we can't get this kind of thing here in the States, but uh, yeah. Uh, this also has uh, titanium dioxide in it as well for a little added added uh, mineral protection. There's so many pretty cakes at Whole Foods. I wanted to show you guys. Chocolate hazelnut. Chuck, chocolate eruption. I love this rose cake. Isn't that pretty? These are like something out of um, Alice in Wonderland. I'm rather fond of this blueberry one as well, the blueberry mini cake. It's pretty. They do such a good job. A little chocolate mousse cup. I was holding my hat under my arm, but the cinnamon shaker on the breakfast bar exploded all over the place and dusted my hat with cinnamon and I kind of got my sleeve somewhere, but yeah, cinnamon fallout. The cinnamon shaker exploded all over oh, me. Oh, really? Yeah. It could have been worse. If it's, at least it wasn't garlic. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Hi everybody! Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday! You look nice. Yeah. What's that? Pet talk. Yeah, there's a whole center folk here of happy dogs. I know one very happy dog. <laughs> yeah, so they have all of these large mason jars with different toppings and the outspouts of the top jar top of the jar lids are too large, so it's really hard to titrate. As you can see, I dumped a lot of cinnamon on this. Anyways, I have rice cauliflower. And um, they also have this uh, vegan melon cucumber salad, so I got some of that. There's uh, a little bit of edamame in there too that you can't see. Uh, some dried apricots, pecans, a few pieces of granola, black sesame seeds, white sesame seeds, and toasted coconut. So it's pretty good, and the coffee is delicious. What'd you get this morning? Um, I got um, the tofu scramble down here on the bottom, uh -huh. and then they had this uh, dino uh, organic kale that oh, I've never tried great. before, radish, and some jalapeno. Ooh, and I also put black beans in there. Ooh. So yeah, no oatmeal. And then, <laughs> you guys know I like my goodies. It's a lemon hazelnut scone. It's vegan? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. They had two um, vegan options for scones. They had the lemon and also a blueberry one. Lemon and blueberry? And then they have these ginormous uh, muffins that are vegan. Yeah. But you know I've gotten one of those before. And then you got woozy afterwards. But it's too much. Yeah. Too sweet, yeah. So. so we've made it pretty far in episode one, season one of cinnamon. Oh my god, I have cinnamon on my face. <laughs> I'm telling you. What's worse, a cinnamon avalanche or a garlic avalanche? I think you no looked out. somebody was looking at me funny. I thought it was just because I look funny. Anyways, um, yeah, we're on uh, season 
Season one, still episode seven, but HBO On Demand, is that what that is that we're watching it through? Yes. They've just omitted episode six, so I had to miss that. My mom's seen every, all of them, obviously. But. I am now I'm going back through, uh -huh. I'm on season three. Yeah. But I will say that season two is my favorite season. How's the scone? The scone is lemony and very good. It's not dry? No. That's good. Here in Target. Did you all know that Olay has this new um, fragrance-free sensitive line? They have a, I'm just seeing it here at Target. Uh, they have a liquid cleanser that is free of fragrance. $6.99. And a cleansing water. Oh dear. What does this have in it? Uh, green tea. This is kind of like a micellar water. You guys know my issue with micellar water. If you use these, uh, just wash your face. So I don't really see the point in the micellar water, but I, my understanding from, from you all is that it does help you break up uh, like foundation and stuff. So just I would just wash it off with, with one of the liquid cleansers. Uh, but it's nice that it's fragrance free. Uh, the reason you should wash it off is just that it leaves a, it leaves kind of a film behind of like the preservatives plus combined with the, the oils on your skin and the, and the dirt, the makeup, it, it can be very irritating, particularly around like the hair follicle and that can lead to like acne like rashes. So I just recommend if you're going to use that to dissolve the makeup doing, doing a um a second cleanse with a gentle cleanser is, is this one fragrance free too no this one's not they make things so so challenging to navigate uh see how tiny they put that fragrance free on there but they don't put it on this one but you might buy you might buy one this one thinking it's that it's so confusing they also came out with some wipes i feel the same way about the wipes as i do the micellar water just wash your face afterwards uh, to avoid the uh, residue that I just mentioned on your face. I prefer cleansing balms to um, micellar water or makeup remover wipes for breaking up the makeup. It's the principle of like dissolves like and that you have an oil-based um, product to break that stuff up and then you wash it off with a gentle cleanser. Still need to do that double cleanse step, but that's my preference. Cold cream is kind of like a cleansing balm. Uh, this Pond's cold cream cleansing balm, I have tried it before. I don't know if you remember that. I tried it a while ago. The fragrance is really awful in this. It's very strong. I think all of Pond's, unfortunately, is is uh, fragrance containing. Uh, you all asked me about it a fair amount. Aside from the fragrance though, it is a good way to break up that first layer of makeup. Just wash it off afterwards. That would be my recommendation. But yeah, cleansing balms and cold creams are sort of the same principle as a oil-based cleanser, a non-soap oil-based cleanser. I'm loving the new Smartly products that are fragrance-free. Have you guys check these out or try them yet i haven't but they they look wonderful just in terms of the ingredients fragrance free and very affordable i mean 249 for this face wash and uh 299 for this lotion this is a shea butter based moisturizer i bet that's great they even have wipes but again the same kind of reservations i have with wipes i also love the simple brand they make fantastic products their facial washes are really good this or this would be an example of a nice gentle cleanser to use to remove that uh, as your second cleanse. These would be good choices. So uh, the simple micellar cleansing water I hear is a good one. People like it. And so, you know, if you if you like using micellar waters, if that's your preference, I would definitely recommend coming on afterwards to wash that off with something like this. Um, micellar water boost. What's the difference between the micellar cleanser and the boost? Oh, this has plant extracts in it. They added, I'm not sure what the plant extract in here is. <laughs> Anyways, uh, propylene glycol is not the devil, but it is one of those things that that can be problematic. Uh, I, it's a great ingredient, you know, you'll find it in most prescription medications have it. It's what's called a penetration enhancer. It just means it helps the ingredients get to where they need to in the skin a little better, but it's simultaneously an irritant 
and even though it's simultaneously an irritant, it's also a humectant. I mean, it just can't make up its mind what it wants to be in life, if it wants to be a menace or a saint. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's a double-edged sword always. So be aware of that. It's in here if you are sensitive to it. It's not uncommon to be sensitive to it or have irritation to it. Um, so that's in this. They have a facial moisturizer for daytime, but it's only SPF 15, which is okay in a moisturizer, but just make sure you use a regular sunscreen on over this. So if you like to use a moisturizer first thing in the morning um, under sunscreen. Oh, and you can layer mineral sunscreen over an Ava Benzone containing uh, sunscreen. Uh, you know, theoretically, Ava Benzone's degradation is accelerated by the presence of zinc or titanium. That's why the FDA doesn't allow the combination in a sunscreen. But let's be honest, in this product, the Ava Benzone is doing nothing. It's going to degrade anyway, and it's only SPF 15. So feel free to layer a mineral sunscreen over this, and uh, just know you get a little extra UVB underneath from this moisturizer from those UVB filters. Like the cosmeceutical industry, the nutraceutical industry and supplements is another unregulated rogue territory of false promises and unregulated claims and what have you. But I get sucked into uh, supplements, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> um, so Pacifica has these beauty powders. Uh, this one is supposed to sl make you slay all day. Does this turn you into a uh, uh, Khaleesi? Okay, I've been watching Game of Thrones as you guys can see. Stevia, ooh, this looks tasty you guys. Pineapple juice powder? Come on, they just desiccated a pineapple and are making false claims. <laughs> uh, seek balance, trust your gut. Um, plant probiotics. Tapioca. I don't think that one's probably, that one's probably not as good. Wake up, beautiful. What is this happening? These are all vegan. I look good. I kind of want to try these. 16 bucks. Try on. That's cute. Yeah, I think I'm going to get this. It's cute. It's um, very, um, it's kind of nautical. sporty chic. Yeah. Okay, um, uh, this fits me and it's actually an extra small, mm. but, um, it looks too, so I like it. And it's kind of raggedy. If it were a little cheaper, I would get it, but yeah. it's $12. Oh. This one is, I guess, And then, um, I like these for the house. Oh, yeah. These are my moo moos. <laughs> I get this. And then, um... Hold it up so they can see. Here I go. Oh, is that a new day? Yeah. That's cute. Yeah. That's really cute. That's in the clearance rack? No, this one's full price, but I need it for yeah. an occasion. That's nice. So, yours truly couldn't help herself and got some more things on iHerb. I swear that Ebates rebate gets me every time. Or, excuse me, Rakuten. Now they've changed that. It's going to be the curse of me. I cannot remember the new name. But anyways, I needed to... Uh, there were a few items that I wanted to get. And then, of course, I went, went down the rabbit hole. Um... All right, I love sea vegetables, and it's kind of been a while since I have had them. I don't know if you remember or watch my videos uh, that long, but uh, probably a year and a half or so ago, I was really into eating and cooking with sea vegetables, and, uh, you know, I do still eat kelp noodles, but I don't know, I have not had a, any kind of sea vegetable in a, while, while, in a while. And I love putting this kind of stuff in soups. This is Alaria or wakame. It just um, adds a nice uh, mineral density to it, I guess. It adds minerals to, to it. And uh, it does salt the water, basically. It's just a nice way to make broths. It does not taste fishy or seaweedy or anything like that. But uh, for vegans, it's a good source of uh, additional B vitamins uh, in terms of, uh, I think even B12. I'm not sure about wakame, but I know a lot of sea vegetables have good B vitamin profiles. So always try and keep that varied and abundant. All right. I got these a while ago and I never really updated you on them. They are the Nuco Organic Coconut Wraps. I previously got the... Um, moringa flavor. It was wonderful. 
These are expensive, unfortunately, but they're totally worth it to give it a try. Um, you'll either like them or you won't, but I really like them. Only five come in the packet. I have not tried the cinnamon one, but the Moringa one, I will say, was wonderful. And in one wrap is 70 calories, six grams of carbohydrate, and uh, three grams of sugar. They're really good, uh, just, as a, just as a wrap. They're made out of coconut meat. They're made out of, uh, they're made out of coconut meat and coconut water. And uh, this one obviously has cinnamon powder added to it, but the other one had moringa. And I'm not even sure what a moringa was, but it was really good. It does have a slight coconutty taste to it, so if you hate coconut, you probably won't like them. This looked so tempting. Speaking of sea vegetables, and you guys know how much I love mushrooms. Uh, this is a miso soup mix that has mushroom and seaweed in it. I'm really excited to try this. It's vegan. It has miso powder in it, which is um, made out of soy um, beans, by the way. So it's like fermented soy, I think, but I, it is made out of soy miso. So if you are intolerant to soy, be aware of that. But then it also has, um, uh, I guess, mushroom mushrooms added, cordyceps and reishi. You guys know I love that. But then it's got wakame and rockweed as far as the seaweeds and ginger and turmeric. I have high hopes for this. I think it's gonna be really good with tofu and maybe some of my kelp noodles. So I, we'll see how that is. I love the Julian Bakery Vegan uh, Paleo Granola, by the way. If you've seen that from my eye herb balls, it is really good. It's incredibly filling. I can't eat an entire serving. Uh, Julian Bakery is like uh, a variety of paleo catered uh, food, little snack foods and whatnot, and they have a bunch of granolas. One of the granolas is vegan. Um, the other, you gotta be careful. The, the other ones have eggs in them, but there is one, a vanilla one, that is vegan, and you get it on iHerb, and it is delicious. But anyways, I've seen these on there, and they actually look promising. Uh, these Pegan Thins, they are just a little um, energy protein bar. This one look good, chocolate lava, we'll see. It is, um, made out of what is it made out of it is made out of sacha inchi um and tapioca fiber sunflower seed butter and then chocolate and it's sweetened with monk fruit extract um one bar has nine grams of fat and 27 grams of carbohydrate whoa 26 grams of which is dietary fiber okay these are going to be really filling 190 calories so it's kind of like uh you know if you didn't have time to eat breakfast or something on the go i thought i'd give them a try i a long time ago way before i was vegan i was really into those quest bars um, I loved the way those tasted, and I'm kind of hoping this would might potentially be a alternative of those. I always loved those, uh, so we'll see how that is, and I will update you guys. You all know I love this reduced fat shredded coconut stuff by Let's Do Organic, so I got two more bags of that. My mom asked uh, if I could get her some vanilla extract on iHerb, and I got the Simply Organic brand Madagascar Vanilla. And these, I thought you all would be interested in because you guys um, you know, are always asking me a little bit about some of the specifics of my produce hauls that I share every week, or um, I thought you might be intrigued by this. So I love these. They are um, reusable produce bags for in the fridge. Um, so for example, like my cabbage, I um, keep it in, this bat in one of these bags. Um, they look like that. They kind of look, I, I'm not sure what they're made out of, honestly. Um, it's like some kind of a synthetic thing. Uh, but you can wash them and dry them and reuse them. Uh, and so it keeps your fridge from like smelling funky and it keeps the produce fresh for a long time. Uh, which, you know, produce doesn't last a long time for me because I eat it, but it doesn't let, like the cabbage, if I just left it loosey-goosey in there, my fridge would reek. So these are really wonderful. You can put fruits in them, vegetables, they're really nice. And like I said, you can reuse them. Reuse them. So I got some more. I really like them. And then, speaking of reusable bags, um, this is what I use at the grocery store. Um, you know, instead of those little, um, plastic bags, those little plastic produce bags. I use these, you can get them on iHerb. They are the brand Echo Bags. This one is mesh, uh, like a little produce carrying sack. Really handy for like, if you pick up, get apples or something like that. Um, and you wash them and reuse them. I just needed some more because you know, I buy a lot of produce, so I need a lot of bags. And then I got um, another one of these. It kind of just looks like a pillowcase, honestly. I mean, you probably could use a pillowcase, but. I don't know. <laughs>
these are the Echo brand, Echo bag. Um, anyways, uh, oh, update on Wilderness Poets. I have had in the past um, and loved their, um, uh, oh dear, dragon fruit powder, pitaya powder. I put it into smoothies and it just makes things so vibrant. If you have children and you feed them smoothies, get yourself some of this pitaya powder that your children will love you just a little bit more because it's so cool looking. And then in my last um, I herb haul, I shared the blue butterfly pea, um, pea powder. That likewise has been a dream. I'm not quite finished with it. They don't have strong flavors, but they just have very vibrant color, a color scheme to them. That's so fun to eat. So I put them in smoothies and I just feel like so cool and you know, awesome when I consume them. So I got this Kamu Kamu berry powder. I don't know what the Kamu Kamu berry is. This little fruit thing it's supposed to be high in vitamin C, but I thought this would be really good with maybe some um, the peach uh, from that frozen fruit mix that I got and some protein powder. It's a pure rose nectar as a smoothie. Um, so yeah, I got that. And then um, I also was interested to try their dried cranberries. I love cranberries. I detest that all dried cranberries that you can buy commercially, at least in a store, are sweetened with usually uh, sugar, or high fructose corn syrup. This, I believe, is just sweetened with apple juice, which I'm cool with. Oh, and before I forget, I also got some black uh, sesame seeds. I've rather enjoyed this Kavala brand. They have a, ses a tahini that is a black sesame seed tahini that I got, and it's been rather good. Well, hey guys, what's up? I'm back in the bad cave yet again post-workout shower routine. And I wanted to update you all. A few of you were asking me about my sleeping globe pillow, if I'm still using it. Yes, I love this thing. I've been sleeping with it every night and it's really made a huge difference in the quality of sleep that I get at night. I'm not, that's not, I'm not saying that with hyperbole whatsoever. I definitely get a much more solid uninterrupted sleep since getting this thing. It's just, I don't find that I'm having to struggle to get comfortable with the pillow and like positioning it with my neck and whatnot. It's really, it's really been a lifesaver. I think it's, you know, a combination of the memory foam and then it's just kind of got like this little divot to it that really nicely supports my neck. The only thing that really doesn't have anything to do with the pillow, but now that my hair is getting so long, I'm running into this situation where I'm like lying sometimes on my hair and kind of like, having to adjust my hair. So I'm contemplating getting one of those silk hair scarves. Um, so if any of you wear those, uh, comment below on like which one you use and which one is a good one, because they are really nice for reducing hair breakage. Uh, you know, at nighttime, you're like tossing and turning and whatnot, and it puts a lot of frictional stress on the hair shafts. And, you know, I can lead to hair breakage and whatnot. I'm not, you know, necessarily, it's not necessarily that bad, but it's just kind of, you know, a little bit of a struggle now it's getting so long. So I think I might do that, but yeah, the pillow has been awesome. Comment below and if you got one and like if you're liking it or whatnot, but it really has made a huge difference. I wonder about like the memory foam mattresses because I've slept in hotels that have had the memory foam mattress. And it's been like a dream. So maybe I should get one of those at some point, but I've had the same mattress for a long, long time. And I, um, I you know, really like it, it's really comfortable, but you know, maybe I'm missing out on something. Um, but I would really, you know, I don't wanna jinx my sleep and get something that is gonna be take me several steps back. Sleep has been a journey for me. Let me tell you guys, like I would really say over the past like three or four years, I've really made tremendous progress. Like I don't understand why more people don't share like their sleep journey. They're all, you know, other, you know, wellness pursuit journeys out there on YouTube and social media and whatnot, but I don't see like sleep support groups and sleep journeys and like YouTube channels. I mean, there are ASMR channels, which are really helpful for people struggling with sleep, I imagine, but I don't see like content around, you know, my sleep struggles. There's so many sleep disorders out there that people suffer with. Uh, insomnia, you know, parasom uh, parasomnias, nightmares, uh, people who um, struggle with uh, 
swing shifts really i mean that is a nightmare i talked about i touched on that in my melatonin gummy video a little bit but that really can just wreak havoc on the individual's entire biology that swing shift cycle with the with the disruption in the sleep wake wake cycle from going from like if you're somebody for example who works like a couple of day shifts and then you switch to nights night shifts oh my gosh i i've done that myself in your you know a long time ago and i think i'm finally like starting to recover from some of that i mean that was that was a big insult in my sleep history uh you know that kind of occupational situation and just you know going to bed late bad habits and whatnot uh but yeah i finally really made made a lot of progress in my sleep journey but it has been it's been a long process to get like uninterrupted sleep um and I swear the environment makes all the difference. I um I've always been ever since I was a child like princess in the pea. Slightest little thing, if the blanket's not right, blah blah blah, I will you know toss and turn and I'm like that. It has to be fixed. Like I can't, <laughs> I can't be too hot. I can't be too cool. I can't have too many blankets, but I can't get cold. You know I can't. I can't be cold either. Um, I'm such a picky sleeper. I can't have a lot of stuff in the bed with me. Like it, you know, no sounds, no light. <laughs> I just feel like a little cave. I am such a picky, picky sleeper. So I have really dialed it in. And yeah, no phones in the room, no TV. Oh my gosh. And when I sleep, stay in a hotel, I'm kind of like uber chatty. I don't know what got into me. But when I stay in a hotel, it really drives me nuts. They have those awful alarm clocks, those um, analog clocks or whatever. Is it analog? No, not analog clocks. You know, the, the alarm clocks that are, are like glowing at you. Oh my God, those things are awful. So I have to unplug those or turn them around. And it's, there's inevitably some DVR in the room that's like peeking at you all night. Oh my goodness. I, I am such a picky sleeper. You know, they're picky eaters. I'm not a picky eater. Well, I mean, I kind of am because I follow a vegan diet, and, but that's not picky, but gosh, what has gotten into me? I'm really chatty today. Um, but yeah, I, um, I'm such a picky sleeper. I mean, really, really finicky. I, yeah, super finicky. Like currently, I mean, my sleep environment is really perfect, but this time of year, I don't know. I think they like these little frogs that come out outside. To be clear, not in my room. I don't have frogs in my room. But some kind of species of like tree frog, it has to be a tree frog that makes this like cheapy, cheap, 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 cheap sound. If you live in Houston, comment on what the heck that is. I mean, it happens every year. And it was less so in the other apartment that I lived in because it was more of a like, uh, there were like stores and stuff. It was more like a like a city square, like a, um, a shopping center that I kind of lived in, uh, my apartment building was in the middle of, so it was less of an issue there, but I did notice it a little bit, but here, you know, I'm more like trees on kind of flora and fauna surrounding me, which makes it like a nice soundproof cave, but this time of year, some kind of species of animal, and it's got to be a frog, I would imagine, that's like, tee, 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 tee. so <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to get some earplugs or something like that, but yeah, long story short, I love the sleep pillow. It has been a game changer. That, oh, and the other thing that I still use and love is my um, air purifier. That I love. It's just like the perfect little slow white noise kind of thing. Um, and it's wonderful. And I'm not using my humidifier currently because there's no need to now that winter's over and the heaters are off. But so I retired that, but that was a huge sleep saver and just skincare game changer in the winter time. But that just as an update, I'm not currently using because it's like a swamp in Houston. And so, you know, there's really no need for a humidifier in summer. <laughs> um, a dehumidifier is often what people are looking for, not a humidifier. But in the winter time when the heater's on, then things get dry. So at least in my, my apartment, but yeah. All right way too much information than you thought you were going to get. <laughs> but I hope you all enjoyed the vlogs this weekend. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.